Hello and welcome to another episode of Pop Culture Reacts. And we are doing the winning option of the poll of next, next album, album. Which the selections were Love Bites, uh, Nemophile, Baby Metal and Band Maid. And it was all the first albums. Um, yep. So I know most most bands do, don't they? Most bands will have EPs um, and things like that beforehand. But um, like when you sort of say what album we can react to, I thought I better pick an album. <laughs> um, so so yeah, I went for the first for all of them. And, and, and Love Bites, I'm not going to say won by a, a landslide, but it was it was quite a clear victory margin. But it's quite nice. All, all of the bands got um, votes. And at one point, Early Doors... Um, it was it was neck and neck between uh, Love Bites and Nemophile, but then Love Bites once it started to pull ahead, it it, it stayed ahead. Yes. Or they, sorry, it. <laughs> they are a they, aren't they? Rather than it. <laughs> well, the the album itself is a physical thing. So that oh yeah, got yeah. Okay, thanks for buying me out of that one. So it's and these. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this is this is their first album and yep. um, awakening from. Awakening from Abyss. So I almost added another the in there that, that isn't there. Um, and we tend to, I tend to do my kind of reading up about um, the bands after we've listened to the album because yeah, I know it's not quite like a film or a book or something like that, but I do feel like sometimes there's spoilers when you read up about things. You know, like someone might sort of say, oh, yeah, no, their first album, which was um, yeah. the, the, the one where they did um, Eastern European folk music instead. So you kind of uh, get, get a kind of glean of what it is. But um, the only thing I do know in picking up from the comments is that um, they were formed off the back of um, the split up of another band. So I think um, it's it's two of the band members, uh, the bassist and the drummer, or certainly the bassist and drummer at this point, um, and they've been in another all-female band um which I don't remember the name of, but I'm guessing possibly at some point we might want to look up and see if we want to do some of theirs. But um, yeah, Love Bites were birthed um, out of that. And I guess them wanting to do something else and probably knowing each other or having that conversation that made them interested in making more music together. And uh, thus Love Bites were formed. Yes. So we are opening up with the first track, which is The Awakening. Um, um, there's no video for this. It is just a... No lovely album cover shot so you'll be able to see the album cover in its full glory it is a nice album cover as well in fact uh while we carry on talking i'll flip it onto there so that people can see said album cover so mr Steddon, are we ready to uh open up this bad boy and see yeah what i mean bring us we um we got them uh recommended to us didn't we so we listened to blooming and uh we both really liked it so we said we wanted to do more and then we did no, blooming um, was band made sorry sorry what was our stand and deliver stand and deliver that's what it was sorry and then we did a live from didn't we and and hence yeah. them going into the poll but um i, I guess this is really interesting because we've uh much like for me and ramstein i heard them now and then you jump back to the past. So uh, for both of us, this is going to be, I guess, seeing where what we liked later, where it came from. Exactly. So shall we be awakened? Let's do this.
So awakening. See, I like that. That yeah. that perfect. It's that sort of thing. If you saw them at a festival, you sort of know that they're gonna have like a curtain or something there that says love bites on it and just waiting yeah. for it to just drop and that sort of when they go love bite that drops and they're like yes yeah and it, it felt um i'm with you on that moment specifically it, it was not not i'm not going to say like it's never been done before an original way of doing it but something that doesn't happen tons is it it's not like every song you get that moment where someone says no. the, the band name and, and and boom you go into the, the next section of the song but and i thought it worked really well um with this one um loved how it started um i loved the symphonic orchestral build to it the mm, extra instruments and elements coming in like layering on top layering on top layering on top um but all the way kind of keeping that style although when i say keeping that style um, you know, very, there was lots of, I thought, nods to, uh, sort of sound, um, soundtracks of, uh, JRPGs. So there was lots of kind of bits that I thought kind of sounded quite Final Fantasy, but one of the most interesting sort of kicks to me in that early part was, um, some really Western soundtrack stylings. Like there mm. were bits that were coming into that that felt to me like they would have easily been um, a, like a, a kick to a music transition in a James Bond movie or something like that as well yeah. layered in. And, and and of course, then it, you know, we get love bites and then we go into, I guess, the, the sound that is more similar to what we heard when we reacted to uh, Stand, and Stand and Deliver. And um, it's the first song on an album, isn't it? So it almost seems silly to to sort of give it a big pat on the back for being a, a really great intro to an album um but i still want to do that anyway because this is their first album you know like yeah. there are there are thousands and millions of albums released out there that don't have this um almost build like i can't wait to hear what happens on the next track because i feel like this this has made me want to go boom into the next bit you know like almost yeah. another love bites boom into another thing so yeah fantastic intro to an album i think so yeah it's a, it is obviously doing as many gigs and stuff as i have bands will have their walk on music or you know that something that they do before every show which is their, them coming on like skin dread or they play the imperial march metallica play um Thingy of Gold from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Yep. Um, Limp Biscuit play Hell's Bells. You know, they have... <laughs> How, wash your mouth out. How dare you <laughs> mention Limp Biscuit on a non-new metal podcast? What have I told you about that? <laughs> but yeah, it's very rare for... It's, it's like mentioning the Nazis to win an argument. You lose every <laughs> argument when you mention Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so it's, it's normally a known piece of music that they will come out to. Them having their own bit and be like, right, this is what because I will guarantee this is probably what they start their sh all their shows with is you know, that the orchestral interlude will be bumped over the PA. Yeah, and then bang, they well, they go. Let's know in the comments if you've seen them live, and that is what they do. But yeah, I I'm all I want to know what what's next. Yeah, you know we we talk about uh, we've talked about this when we've done uh, Ramstein albums, which are the only kind of full albums we've reacted to. But yes, yeah, say we, we we like our music, and I I certainly think of myself as a as an album lover rather than um, single song lover. Um, but yeah, I, I think it, it sets its stall out in a way that. And maybe this is going to be slightly unfair. Maybe it doesn't. But I feel like we're going to get a structured album here. And by and people hate the word structured, don't they? But by structured album, I mean, if you're kind of kicking off with this, I feel like there's going to be that rhythm that goes for all of it. And not just because you're yeah. a singular band and you write songs in, in a certain way, but it feels like if There'll you're going to put this... Yeah, if you're going to put this at the front end, then you're almost going, there's a story to my album. And um, I, yeah, I, I'm down for the story. And, and you know, like a, a great naming convention for it as well. The Awakening. You know, this is their first 
and there there is an EP before this, but this is their first um, album track. And, you know, what better way to start it than saying that we're going to have a, an awakening here, like you as an audience and us as a band uh, performing for you. So, yeah, I heard nothing that didn't make me uber confident for what, what is to come next. So we'll be back very shortly with The Hammer of Wrath. Which Good name is, for a song as well, isn't it? <laughs> what that what that builds into, so yeah. I'm, makes I'm me hoping... want to read a comic book straight away, like of, <laughs> of some epic kind of battle. But you say I'm I'm hoping that it where that ends that goes straight into it and next thing's gonna be a rager. That seems like it should have some pace and. I, f- I feel like you would follow that with oh. something with some get up and go, wouldn't you? Some yeah. real kind of power behind it. And if not, you know, we'll see. We'll react to it when we hear it. But um, yeah, I'll be bitterly disappointed if it doesn't follow on from that kind of revved you right up to going, right, bang, here we are. So, as always, like, subscribe, ring the bell. We'll be back very shortly with the next one and following the whole of this album. So, you know. We will be, yeah. We like it. Join us. Obviously, down there, comments on what you think of not not so much obviously just as just as an opening, but you know, if you've heard the whole album, get your thoughts in now while you're there. And yep. Join us for the rest of it, and until next time, goodbye.